fantastic. <laughs> Dumps racing should be banned in Victoria. It's 20 years now since the Australian Senate recommended that jumps racing be phased out in three years and it was phased out in most states of Australia but unfortunately still runs in Victoria and we've seen already in the start of the 2011 season that five horses have been killed. We saw over the last three days in Warrnambool we saw a, a horrific incident yesterday that resulted in many people being injured. We don't know the fate of these horses. Will they race again? Will we ever see them again? We don't know. What we do know from past history that the majority of horses, once they fall and sustain an injury, are no good for jumps racing and are condemned to the knackery. You just have to look at the images that we have here today on the placards. These are, have all occurred over the last two or three years. It has to come to an end before more people are injured and more animals are killed. There is no excuse for animal abuse. And jumps racing. There is no excuse for animal abuse. And jumps racing. There is no excuse for animal abuse. And jumps racing. The number of horses that have been killed in the first six weeks of 2011 is already on par with the number of horses who were killed for the entire of the 2010 season. And the racing industry think that this is progress. It is not. This is taking us backwards. And more progressive states like New South Wales will continue to look down on us as they have secured in their Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act under Section 23 that jumps racing is illegal and you will receive six months in prison if you participate in it. The issue in jumps racing is not only the horses who suffer brutal injuries and die on the track, but it is the large number of horses who suffer non-fatal injuries and are simply discarded when they can no longer race. We estimate this number of racehorses to be as high as 50 to 75 per cent from the statistics we have gained over the last three years. Poll after poll has shown that Victorians are opposed jumps racing and want jumps racing stopped. Victoria and South Australia are the only states that run jumps racing. Now prior to this government we were told that jumps racing would get no help, no financial help from the government because it had to be able to stand on its own and that Racing Victoria is an independent body. Now this government has put two million dollars, two million dollars of taxpayers' money into jumps racing. I don't know what the government's waiting for. Instead of putting money into jumps racing, it should be stopping it. It's a blight on Victoria and it's making the rest of the racing industry lose credibility as well. How many deaths and injuries do we have to have in jumps racing before it's banned? And we can have no jumps racing throughout Australia. That's what I'm aiming for.